Welcome to a demonstration of TX Studio version 5.4's Airway Measurement Tool. Let's begin by clicking on the Airway Measurement icon on the Volume Renderer View Tabs toolbar. Once the tool is selected, a dialog window will appear asking you to place points along the airway path. When OK is selected, the Volume Color preset will change to grayscale and clipped or sliced along the sagittal anatomical plane. While the software generally does a good job of clipping to the mid-sagittal plane, you may want to use the mouse scroll wheel to hone in on the clipping. Alternatively, you may use the slider control in the clipping section of the control panel. Next, left mouse click to pick points along the center of the airway to define the measurement path. Right mouse click when you are finished with the last point. TX Studio will now convert the profile tracing into a volume renderer and superimpose it onto the scan data. The minimum cross-sectional area and the total volume of the marked airway will be displayed. In this example, the total volume of the measurement pathway that was selected is 3.2 cubic centimeters. The minimum airway is 54.1 millimeters squared. Measurements may differ within the same volume depending on where the points are placed where you begin and end, and the proximity of the points to soft tissue. Please see the TX Studio reference manual for a description of why measurement values must not be used as a sole metric for any treatment. If you do not have a current manual, you may contact us at 800-205-3570 or email us at techsupport at i-cat.com. The black shading within the airway indicates that the cross-sectional areas within it are below the minimal threshold indicated on the bar at the bottom of the screen, which is 100 millimeters squared. The threshold may be changed by selecting the Setup View icon on the toolbar. Let's change the color minimum to 50 millimeters squared and the color increment to 25. We see very dark red as the minimum is approached, but no black. The rendered airway may be viewed in a variety of different ways by clipping, rotating, and changing the color presets of the volume. Let's select the teeth color preset and deselect clipping. We are now back to the default view. Another nice view control to use is Soft Tissue 1. Beginning with TX Studio Software version 5.4, the airway measurement that is created in the Volume Renderer view tab will be visible in the Section view tab. You may create an airway measurement here as well. Let's delete the traced airway by left mouse clicking on it and then depressing delete on the keyboard. Now we will use the same procedure that we used earlier to create a new measurement. The total measurement for our new volume has changed from the 3.2 cubic centimeters computed in the Volume Renderer View tab to 4 cubic centimeters. The minimum area has changed from 54.1 millimeters squared to 55 millimeters squared. These changes are due to where the path began and ended and the posterior to anterior positioning of the points. The traced airway may be viewed in any of the 2D grayscale view windows or in the 3D view window located at the lower right. Use the mouse scroll wheel or the cursor lines within the 2D window to move to a specific axial, sagittal, or coronal slice. Measurement tools may be used to aid in airway assessment. In the bottom right 3D view window, the isolated airway is displayed with the total airway volume and minimal cross-sectional area computed. 
A horizontal red line indicates where the minimal area is located. New in TX Studio 5.4, the interior to posterior and the right to left distances of a selected cross section may be found. Begin by left mouse clicking within either of the graphs. A green horizontal line will indicate the selected cross section in all of the airway views. The widest distance within a selected cross sectional slice will be computed and displayed within the graph. The anterior to posterior length of 8.18 millimeters is displayed in orange. The right to left length of 10.74 millimeters is displayed in purple. Let's rotate the airway to a coronal view to more clearly see the selected sectional area. Additional to the computed distances of a slice, TX Studio will now compute the area of any selected cross section. In this example, the cross sectional area is computed as 78 millimeters squared and displayed in yellow. This now completes a demonstration of the airway measurement tool included with TX Studio 5.4. Again, please consult the TX Studio reference manual or call ICAT Technical Support at 800 205 3570 with any questions or concerns.